Hey everybody, okay, Foxy D again, the quick change artist. It's gonna be a short video. I wanted to do part two of my second video. Uh, I think I ended off, it's a very, it's actually not even poorly edited. It's non-edited right now. So I gotta figure all this stuff out. I hope you bear with me. I was talking about how I got sick, all right, and how people sometimes get sick. Started talking about physical illness, like my back, I have all kinds of physiological problems that happen because of this. But you get sick also emotionally, okay, in addition to physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. So if you think of the native medicine wheel, uh, it's got those four components. It just attacks you on all front fronts, depending on the type of person you are, of course. But typically the people who get mobbed are, uh, and it's not to toot my own horn, but typically people that get mobbed are... Highly sensitive people, and by highly sensitive people, again, it's all like, oh my god, don't touch me, or don't do this, or you looked at me funny. That's not what I'm talking about. Grounded. Grounded, we feel people, all right? We're, like, to me, I'm brother, sister, no gender to all, just who I am, all right? Uh, don't put people down, because I don't feel I have to, because I think I'm just fine the way I am. Uh, mobbers tend to feel very insecure, like I said. They need to put people down to make themselves feel better. Um, unfortunately, my mobbers were male and female, <clears throat> so I had b both genders just, uh, yeah, attacking. The worst part is I had a boss, like my direct manager. I thought he was a friend, but he wasn't, actually. Um, his problem is that he was very, believe it or not, it's going to sound crazy, kind of jealous of me. He was not courageous at all. He was a very cowardly guy. He had actually ratted out the big boss that had been there that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, he was a total man of integrity. And when he was at the helm, this would never have happened. Okay. So, uh, and the reason I found this out is my boss gave me something to edit for him. And I found this really strange paragraph. And I reread it and read it and said, hmm, this is kind of weird. So uh, once that happened, that was also the beginning of the end. The guy would talk to me, try to get information from me, and he would feed me things, okay? I'll give you an example. Uh, we had, like I had this colleague that I really respected and liked a lot, and I knew that he wasn't very well respected by his colleagues because he wasn't a tough guy, okay? He was a very nice man, though, and he wasn't the smartest guy, but he was a well-meaning person, and he trained me and helped me a lot. So what he would do is he'd bring me in the office and he'd say, the only reason I'm friends with him, I hope you know, is because uh, he did a few things for me at the beginning. And I'd be like, you don't have to give reasons why you're friends with him. I think he's a great guy, right? I kind of touted him all over. Even when people would talk bad to me about him, I would kind of speak honestly, right? Like I remember one person that's like, oh, he's not so smart. I said, he may not be the smartest guy, but he's a good man, right? And I meant that. So um, when a mobbing occurs, what they do, and just to be careful, they'll take that information and they'll start spreading it around. They'll take whatever you've said, okay? They won't give the context in which you've said it, um, and they won't give the whole spiel. So they'll take the negative of what you said and spread that stuff around, and they'll try to gather as much as information as possible. Like I said, I didn't speak to very many people, so I know exactly uh, who did what. You know what I mean? Because that any of the other colleagues, I'd be very polite. And that's another thing. When you're polite, people often mistake your kindness for weakness. I'm far from weak, actually. Uh, I tend to stand my ground. Like I said, for seven years, however, uh, you know, I had to play the game also because when you're in financial need, you're in financial need. What are you going to do? Anyhow, so for now, that's it for part two of video two. But I'll be back. Um, and I'll get in more detail. And like I said, please bear with me as I learn how to edit all of this stuff. I wish you all a lovely day. All right? And again, I know it's spelled Foxy, F-O-X-Y, but my email is F-O-X-I-E-E-D-E-E -E 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 at gmail.com. Peace and namaste.